Well, I think that's one of the key problems, really, that people don't really understand why the NHS needs to change. And the NHS does need to change. We've got a population which is becoming uh, older all of the time. They have a number of complex conditions at the same time. Uh, the cost of medical interventions is going up. And yet there's only a finite amount of money that you can spend. So we need a new system more integrated around the needs of that individual patient. And therefore the NHS needs to change to deliver that. Less care in hospital, more care in the community. Uh, a focus on long-term conditions rather than just episodic care. In the past, the health service has been about acute illnesses. In the future, it's about long-term conditions. It has to change. There are some fundamental issues within the bill about competition and the role of monitor, the regulator, that needs to change. The feedback we've been getting over the last eight weeks is that people are starting to understand it better. They're starting to understand the reasons for change. And now I think the government um, should be in a position where they can ha then have a, a better discussion about things and take it forward in a much more positive way. Well, I've, he I've heard concerns about privatisation. I honestly don't believe, having spoken to the Prime Minister, Secretary of State and the Deputy Prime Minister, that that's actually what they want uh, to happen. Um, I've been out with the Prime Minister many times without the press being there, where he's spoken passionately about integrated care, spoken passionately about his family. Um, I think he and I both recognise that competition has a place, but it's not the be-all and end-all. What we need is a better integrated system based on the needs of the patient.